All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have some things to address. We have pluggers and rage quitters in Tekken 8. It is an issue, it is a problem. What can be done about it? My experience with some pluggers, uh, it hasn't really been all bad. It really is a lot of king players. Unfortunately, I don't have any clips of that. This this king is not um, the plugger. We actually have some uh, some good runs. Nothing even cap. But even after the update, Tekken 8 is still having issues with pluggers. That, um, I don't know what ranks it starts at, but um, I know at least uh, I've seen it all the way up to um, the brown ranks. Uh, I've seen a few in yellow, but that was earlier, like in uh, when Tekken 8 first came out. And if you ever fought me online, bruh, and we happen to be in a game, and we don't get to finish that game, don't worry, bruh. I don't plug. You don't be pressing me like that. Trust me. My PC just be ass, and that shit crashes sometimes. And that shit be making me hot. And usually, whenever my shit crashes, I'm the one winning anyway, or it's about, like, a fair fight, and we're both about even, I would say. And that's the only time my shit crashes. It's never usually on a, lo a loss anyway, so it is what it is. Y'all get over it anyway. But if it does happen, I just want to warn you, trust me, I don't plug, bro. There's no reason to. It's just online rank. Who cares? I'm not going to plug. I'm just here to talk about everybody else that is doing that on purpose. But I want to hear about y'all's experiences about with, with plugging. Are you a plugger? Expose yourself down below. I would love to uh, <laughs> hear your side of the story. That'd be great to know. But I can't really think of any like uh, huge solutions besides what they tried to do, I guess. They did try to update it, and they said they wanted to, like, knock down their rank and shit like that. But that doesn't help the people being plugged on. So, I feel like a solution aimed towards helping, like, I don't know, giving, giving my points if someone plugs on me, you know? Just give me points and boom, we're good, you know what I mean? Plug all you want, I sit on my points, you feel me? And, like, I don't really care about my spot in the leaderboard like that. I really don't care for that, but, I mean, obviously these people do, that's why they're plugging so much. I mean, if you really care about online rank that badly... It is what it is. And team did body me in this one, damn. But that's alright. I, I, did, I did my run back and we, we, we cleaned it up real nice. Don't even worry about it. But uh, another thing I want to address, this is kind of like a... There's like three things I want to talk about, but this is like the second thing right here. Is the Wi-Fi and plugging. So, I know some people have horrid internet out there. And sometimes Wi-Fi just... Uh, this isn't good, you know what I mean? You know, you might have that T-Mobile that little box, you know what I'm talking about? That shit just don't hit right sometimes. But, Wi-Fi and plugging, I just want to say I don't agree that you should be punished just because you have bad Wi-Fi. That's kind of an unfair statement that I've heard uh, some other people make. And, I don't think that's right. Some people just can't get good Wi-Fi even in 2024. You know, some places still have, like... 3 megabytes, that's an over-exaggeration, but 3 megabytes of internet, like, my mom was having bad internet, bruh. And she didn't even know she was having bad internet until I told her it was bad internet. So it's it's out there, bruh. And, like, there's people not even realizing that they have bad internet until they get on these games, and they're like, damn, why is my shit so bad? <laughs> and it just be like that, you know? But I don't think it's fair to punish them. Instead, I feel like this is the idea, it's kind of a long idea, pause, but there's an idea here. Just give me a second, I'm about to read this out. Instead of just punching these people, maybe have a system in place in the game to detect you disconnecting often. And wait, hold on, bear with me. If you are disconnected at a constant rate, even due to Wi-Fi, then you lose points per match that or per matches that you are getting disconnected from. I feel like that's a little fair. I feel like that's more fair than just taking off points just because you have bad Wi-Fi. If anything, like, I don't know, try to match bad Wi-Fi players with bad Wi-Fi players. Maybe that will, like, kind of help. Because uh, the whole filter thing is, like, it's cool, bruh. And I get why everybody wanted it and stuff. I understand. But it's so, like, I know it's, like, unfair. Like, you know, boo -hoo cares. It's unfair for uh, the Wi-Fi players to not be able to, like, they get reduced people to fight because they have bad, poor Wi-Fi, you know? So, like, let them fight other poor Wi-Fi people. Like, at, at least, like, you know, something. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just to be fair so they can still enjoy the game. Unfortunately, if you have really bad Wi-Fi, most likely you're probably just going to have to enjoy single-player content. But I don't think y'all should just be 
thrown away fully. You know what I mean? This is unfair. I used to have bad Wi-Fi at some point, bro. I understand. So I'm I'm on y'all's side, bro. I advocate for that shit. Y'all shouldn't be punished just because y'all can't afford some shit, bro. That's stupid as fuck. But anyway. Yeah, leave, leave a comment if you have bad Wi-Fi, you know? <laughs> I, I love hearing from you guys. I love um, seeing what y'all got to say. Some of y'all be out of pocket for real. But, you know, I'm here for it sometimes. Y'all got crazy opinions. I love it, though. But anyway, what else can we talk about? I already talked about the Wi-Fi plugging. And was there more to the idea? Oh, yeah. So, only if you disconnect, say, every so often because of Wi-Fi issue, you get no point reduction. Maybe about, like... And this is like 10 matches, like, this is 10 matches in, not like, oh, you haven't, uh, your Wi-Fi didn't disconnect you in, like, two games. No, this is like, 10 matches, and you get, like, no point reduction, because, oh, wow, you, like, randomly disconnected after, like, 10, ma 10 games, and, like, you don't, now you're not gonna lose any points or nothing, just because, like, okay, that was just random, like, PC crash, or console crashed, whatever. But, uh, whatever you're rocking, you know, it crashed, now you get no penalty, because that shit's, like, unfair as fuck, bro, you didn't expect that shit to happen, you know? And not everybody has, like, the, the super hybrid engine, you know what I mean? Like, not everybody has fucking nice-ass shit, you know what I mean? I have recently done nice-ass shit, but guess what? My shit still crashes, bro. And, like, it should be irritating, it's annoying, but not everybody can get, like, top-of-the-line shit all the time. And I'm here to work with y'all, bro. I'm here to advocate for y'all, bro. <laughs> but anyway... Let's see if you disconnect often. Yeah, so don't don't punish the Wi-Fi player. Not to a full extent. Like, if you're doing the shit on purpose, you deserve every punishment possible. But when the shit's not even on purpose, bro, you don't deserve punishment just because some shit happened. But we don't go on to the third thing, which is uh, the rage quitters. Because they're doing this shit on purpose, bro. This is strictly on purpose. Along with pluggers, bro. Y'all doing this shit on purpose. I don't know why. Stop leaving because you're losing, bro. Or you, like, you lost. Who cares, bro? It's just online, bro. How do you, how do you learn from this? You don't learn anything by just leaving the match every single time before, like, you got your comeback, you know what I mean? Like, you never know, bro, like, you can come back in an instant in this fucking game, bro. It's amazing what you can do, especially with Heat, bro. You can come back so easily. I know you paid your money, and you want to decide what you want to do with your game. I understand that. That's what you're going to say in the comment section. Uh, trust me, I'm aware. I already know. You paid your money. You feel like you can leave and just go. I'm just saying, bro, that sounds like a waste of money to me because you're not learning anything. You gotta get your ass beat to learn something, bro. Go ask my cousin, bro. He got his ass beat and guess what? Now he can actually fight. <laughs> he ready. He's still scared to go online, but he ready. But you're not gonna learn anything by rage quitting, bro. That's all I'm saying. You're not as bad as pluggers, though. I can't put you in the same category. I will put you in the same video, but not the same category. You're not as bad as pluggers. But I'd be sour. That's fuck. Like, at least just finish the first set of shit. You know what I mean? Like, run your first little, little ones, you know. Give me my three rounds. I feel like majority of you guys that are, like, Ray Twitter should at least, like, just finish out the rounds. Run me the rounds, bro. At least for the first games. And then just call it after that, and then, you know, like, go back to the replay, go practice that shit, and then, you know, like, come back, and, like, because eventually, we don't run into each other again, bro. Everybody runs into each other again in Tekken, bro. I don't know how, but that shit just works. If you get up in range, though, you have to be up in range in order to run into people. Because I ran into people that went past me, that beat me originally, and then I went up, and then beat them. And that shit is cool as fuck. Like, Tekken is so cool for that shit, bro, and y'all over here rage quitting, bro. Like, y'all boring, bro. Like, come on, bro. That's that, that's that MK1 shit. MK Uno. Like, that's that, that's that shit, bro. Like, you over there rage quitting, bro. Like, don't come over here rage quitting. Tekken is a game that needs to be learned. You gotta get your ass beat. Even top motherfuckers get their ass beat. And they learn. You learn because everybody plays the game differently. My Steve on stream right now will not play like your Steve. He won't play like fucking his Steve. They won't play like that, Steve, over there. Like, everybody plays Tekken differently. You have to learn the matchup. Once you learn the matchup, then you gotta learn how to fight that person you're fighting. And you only get, like, realistically, like, three shots online. So it, it is hard to, like, 
to master fighting that one person. Like, say you get bodied by, like, uh, random dude number one, like, when you first started playing, right? He beat your ass. Like, you didn't know what to do. You went in the lab, you practiced, you grinded, you got up in rank. Guess what? You're at fucking, uh, Mighty Ruler, and boom, there go your mans right there. He He's a rival now, bruh. You, you gotta fight him now. And guess what? You beat his ass. And you know why? Because you actually practiced, you learned... From that less, from that uh, that match that you had with them, you watched that replay, you watched some of Controversy's videos, and you got fucking better. And I love to see it for you guys. I love to see someone that I I beat the fuck out of already easily, and then later on down the road I see them in like a higher rank and they beat me. I, I'm impressed. That shit's fun. It's awesome. I love to see you guys grow and develop. My tip videos aren't always the best, but hey man, I, I be trying. You know what I mean? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Pluggers, huge issue in Tekken right now. Rage Twitters, I don't really call them a huge issue, but, you know, they out there. Do better. But I love y'all. Holla at y'all soon. On the road to 1K, I'm trying to get there. I want to talk to y'all more down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on all the pluggers. Let me know if you're a Rage Twitter. I'll holla at y'all later. Go watch something else. I'm out of here. <laughs>